While reading is critical to education, not every student enjoys English class. But at West Hill High School, students can sit and enjoy a pleasure reading class. Pleasure reading graphic novels. Graphic novels was created last year, and it is uh, it was designed specifically to be a pleasure reading class. Um, you know, a lot of high school students get away from reading for fun, and it starts to become, you know, kind of a, a dull thing. So we try to, you know create a class where kids can just get credit just for coming in and reading. Personally, I think is that they're more exciting because well, because you can go further with the story more than a regular book. It takes more time, but it just feels more satisfactory. Graphic novels in general, their plot lines are more exciting than regular books. <laughs> yeah, and the art does help. Just seeing different artists in their own personal art is very interesting. Um. Because of re regular books, it sometimes it's hard for people to understand, really, because not a lot of people in this world, believe it or not, have good imaginations and for some reason have a mental block and they can't really picture things in their mind when they read regular, regular books. And with comic books, they can just see it in front of them and it's so much easier for them to understand. The students say they learn a lot while reading things they like. I think I started out with uh, Coraline because I saw the movie a while ago and when I got into the class they had the book and I thought it might be interesting to see the difference. And what you think? I thought it was very creepy. <laughs> it was very interesting. The other mother was totally different. She was a lot scarier, and she just felt more threatening than in the movie. Yeah, let's take Green Lantern. Uh, there have been a couple of scenes where there are those little details in their faces or the way that they move that you can't really explain. Oh, let's say someone gets punched. It, you, can't, you can only go so far with uh, describing it via text than with just colors and pictures and motions and things of that nature. Deadpool is like a mercenary. He gets paid to kill people. Um, he won't kill someone just to kill him, but um, he, he can be a good guy or a bad guy. And he, he has like two personalities, so like at one moment he'd be talking about what's going on, and, a second, and another moment he'd be talking about like something totally random. To me, it's more exciting than reading a book because I, I see pictures, and like when you see what's going on and you see the pictures, you understand the book better. And reading a book, it's like you have to imagine what's going on, it takes time. Well, in Kick Ass, uh, the team of Big Daddy and Hit Girl are my favorites. Just because they have a take no prisoners attitude, and in, in, in even for a little girl who's 10 years old, she can deal out some serious damage. Usually, obviously, the villains I really despise in these books. Um, an example could be like uh, Norman Osborn, who's a Green Goblin, and he just he just doesn't like anyone. And he, and he I, I want the of course you want the hero to obviously win, but it makes it so hard to, for him to win. Have you ever been conflicted in a novel between the hero and villain? Well, yeah, one of the novels I read were The Dark Avengers, where uh, instead of the good guys being the good guys, it was the bad guys being the so-called good guys. And it was weird seeing, like, um, yeah, Norman Osborn as a good guy and trying to, trying to see him as a good guy rather than seeing him as a villain. Vandegrift, who teaches the class, says he came up with the idea out of his own exploration of graphic novels. Well, I just started reading um, graphic novels a couple years ago, and I realized that, um, you know, they were, uh, it was a worthwhile um, investment of time. You know, I um, really enjoyed reading this stuff. A lot of it was very complicated, and I felt like, you know, uh, it was on my level. And I thought that um, this type of class that we had here, um, it would encourage students to, you know, become readers again. The class has become so popular at West Hill that Vandegrift says the fall class is almost full. 